Hey guys, your workout for Friday the 8th of May. Uh, the barbell option is four time, three rounds, 250 meter run, two rounds of DT, which I'll explain in a second, uh, which is a barbell complex, 70 kilos for guys, 47 and a half kilos for girls. Then you'll do three rounds straight after that, three rounds of 20 single arm dumbbell kickback burpee snatches uh, into 20 hollow rocks. So I'll repeat, three rounds, 250 meter run, two cycles of DT, straight into three rounds of 20 single arm dumbbell kickback burpee snatches, 20 kilo dumbbell for guys, 15 for girls, and 20 hollow rocks. The non-barbell option is exactly the same workout, but instead of two cycles of DT with the barbell, you'll do four cycles of DT with a single arm dumbbell, which I'll uh, explain in a second. So, let's talk about DT. DT is 12 deadlifts, nine hang power cleans and six push jerks. If you're using a barbell, it's 70 kilos for guys, 47 and a half kilos for girls. That would be one round of DT. So the first part of the workout is three rounds, 250 meter run, and then two cycles of the 12 deadlifts, nine hang power cleans, six push jerks. Then you go back on the run and then two more cycles until you've done three rounds of that entire workout. Uh, and then the difference, the dumbbell um, DT is that you'll just do four rounds. You'll do 12 deadlifts, nine hang power cleans, six push press or push jerk on your right arm. Then you'll swap, do a round of that on your left arm. That's two rounds. And then you'll repeat both sides again for a total of four rounds of DT. So let's have a look at the barbell DT. Feet start underneath your hips for the deadlift. Measure your hands off, set your back, eyes on the floor. Make sure hips are just below your shoulders. Squeeze your glutes. Drive through your heels and stand up. That's one rep. We recommend touch and go, uh, just like this, keeping your knees back, returning to that same start position at the bottom, always with a flat back. Once you've done your 12 deadlifts, you can go into nine hang power cleans. So you come to the hang, jump hard, catching your quarter squat, and repeat until you've done nine of the hang power cleans. Then you go into six of the push press or push jerks or any shoulder to overhead movement. So dip and drive, lock your arms out to push press or you can do a push jerk where you re-bend your knees when you catch the bar, okay, just like this. Six reps of that. Once you've completed that, it's one cycle of DT, you would then go back down, do your deadlifts again, do the hang power cleans again, do the push jerks again, and then once you've done uh, your second cycle of DT, go out on the run. Now, the non-barbell option for DT is four rounds of a single arm DT. So uh, the dumbbell deadlift, dumbbell touches the floor, stand all the way up, Keep your back flat, keep your knees back as far as you can with your hips just below your shoulders, weight on your heels, 12 of them. 12 of the hang power cleans, just like this. 12 of the push press or push jerks. Okay, that's all on Maggie's left arm. Then you will swap to your other arm, do 12 deadlifts, nine hang power cleans, and then six push press or push jerks on the left. Then you would swap back, sorry, on the right hand, then you'd swap back to your left, do that cycle, swap back to your right, do that cycle, and then go back on the run. Okay, that's the first part of the workout. The second part of the workout is the same, whether you have a barbell or not. It is 20 single arm dumbbell kickback burpee snatches and 20 hollow rocks, three rounds of that. So the single arm dumbbell, dumbbell kickback burpee snatch, if Maggie was to face this way, dumbbell starts on the floor, put one hand on the dumbbell, other hand doesn't touch anything. Kick back into a plank, jump your feet in, and then you'll do a dumbbell snatch from that position. That's one, swap hands, kick back to a plank, jump your feet in, do a dumbbell snatch. That's two. Okay, you do 20 of them, 10 on each side, straight into 20 hollow rocks. So you're on your back, arms and legs are straight, rocking backwards and forwards. Every time your shoulders hit the floor is when you would counter rep for hollow rock. Scaling is to reach your hands forwards and rock like that. Further scaling, bend your knees with your hands forwards and rock uh, in this position here. Scaling guys for the DT is to reduce the weight if you have a barbell uh, and the aim is to use the heaviest dumbbell you can for the uh, non-barbell option but reduce the weight to whatever you need to um, to get through four rounds of the DT each time with the dumbbell. Click us a message if you're confused by any of that. Uh, jump on the Zoom sessions guys, they're always good fun. Enjoy.